Hey guys, and welcome to another part of Magical Alter JCL, and we are go continuing with um, the Anton route. Oops, wrong button. Trying not to stop on myself. Everything, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Let us continue. The next morning, the three of you set off traveling again. Some ways off, Yvonne said a temporary goodbye again. Sorry again, princess, but I have to go do some research on your little home kingdom. I might as well get some more progress done with that other task while I'm at it. Anyway, I shouldn't ask around too much. People might suspect something. Hmm, where should I go? Then, the library? It's been a while. I don't remember how the book filing system works. Even <laughs> words. Even the master of stealth leaves for the library. And now let's see. There's another town on the way that we can stop at. The only problem is that I heard that bandits have been hanging around there recently. In that case, perhaps we should not go there at all. Okay, um, I think it'll be fine. Apparently the bandits are kind of passive-aggressive about it. <laughs> when bandits are passive-aggressive. 10 out of 10. The only other thing is that there are rumors of the bandits searching for someone. You don't think they're searching for one of us, do you? It was pretty dark in that forest when we fought them. I doubt anyone could recognize us just from that. I agree. However, the bandit groups may still be related. There aren't many towns on the way, though, so we should make sure we have everything we need. Even so, I'm not so sure about this. I think it'll be fine. The person the bandits are looking for is a man, after all. There isn't much information besides that. I don't think it's either of you. At least, I hope not. Mm hmm. It wouldn't make sense for their target to be only one of us when there were clearly others. Indeed. I suppose it is fine. But we will be leaving as soon as possible. Got it. Let's go, then. Meanwhile, Yvonne happened to bump into someone back in Fior. Huh? Is that you, Yvin? Hmm? Oh, Chumpy, it's been too long. <laughs> I told you, my name's not Chumpy. Sorry, it's just what I say when, I'm, when I don't remember someone's name. Hey! Oh, I'm just joking with you. It's good to see you again. How convenient to run into you like this, though. I have something to ask you. As a fair public official, you know a lot about the kingdoms nearby, right? I hope you're educated for the people's sake. Of course I know. But more importantly, even, some bandits have been lurking around lately. What do you want me to take- what, do you want me to take care of them again? I think that would make things worse for you right now. The thing is, I think they're the same ones that you defeated a while ago. And I heard that they've been looking for someone. That's probably you. They attacked a girl in a forest nearby for some reason, though. Luckily, a group of travelers were there to help her, though. Hmm... Hopefully things won't get too messy. Thanks for the heads up, pal. No problem. Although you act suspicious and everything I know, you're a, you're a good guy. Oh, no buttering me up with backhanded compliments okay, today. <laughs> anyway, this news is pretty serious. How long have they been at it? I don't know, but you should be careful. Mm -hmm. Nothing was out of order lately, I believe. Wait a minute. 
there was that time when I left Princess before they got to Fjord. Something might be off after all. Sorry, but I have to go. It's just a hunch, but my intuition's never been off. But this time, I hope I'm- I really hope I'm wrong. Hey! That's the same scenery as before. <laughs> you, Florian, and Anton were walking through the town that supposedly had bandits in it. Everything seems normal so far. Maybe we were worrying over nothing. Although everything seemed fine at the moment, some suspicious people watched from afar. Is that her? I'm sure of it this time. So, do you think she's Yevon's girl? Ooh. I wouldn't know. It's more like he's just been creeping around her, though. Right. Anyway, I don't think he's around right now, though. We'll just have to lure him out, then. Don't mess this up. It's our chance to get back with that guy. Well, I think that's everything we need. Let's hurry and leave, then. I have a bad feeling for some reason. As do I. Alright, let's go, then. And just as you were, you were walking along... Ouch! A kid ran into you and stole your sword. That dick! How dare he! Ah! He took my sword! I'm going after him! You run after the kid who ducks into an alley. Let's go, too. Yes, of course. Just as Florian and Anton are about to follow you, a large crowd of men stop them. Sorry about that, you two. The kid sure is a rascal. I don't care what he is, get out of my way! Oh, no need to be so impatient. The men seem to be deliberately blocking Florian and Anton's way. We do not have time for you. Hey, what's the rush? Where? Yeah, that girl can take care of herself, can't she? Looks like we'll have to force our way out. Saying that, Florian promptly elbows a man in the face, knocking him down. Are you alright with that, Anton? Hey, how dare you! The man charges at Anton. To which Anton catches his punch and throws the man over like a sack of potatoes. Yeah, you fucking sack of potatoes. Think about your actions again. I am not above it. You catch up to the kid in a secluded place. Hey, could you give me back my sword? I won't be mad. The sword means a lot to me. Ah, uh, phew. What? Sorry, but orders are orders. <laughs> See ya? Ugh. It's too bad that you had to be dragged into it, too. Shape-shifting magic, but why? Something knocks you unconscious. <clears throat> Maybe the sound of my sniffling from the long days of long day of walking. After quickly dealing with the thugs, Florian and Anton meet up with you. Lady CL, are you alright? Oh, me? Oh man, I don't actually know who this girl acts or how this girl acts around these two guys. That I was just told that I have to buy time. Wait, is she hooked up with one of these guys? I mean, look at them. You'd be crazy to leave it be. Lady CL? Oh, sorry about that. I was just thinking to myself. Wait a minute. They both call her Lady. Is she special? Or are they just weird? Ah, I don't know if I can do this. Look at these guys. I can see over there that they pummeled the rest of the bandits who got in their way. If I mess up, then... Ugh. Lady CL, is something the matter? Uh, I'm fine. Look, I got my sword back. CL tries to fasten 
the sword back to her outfit, but... Uh, God, this isn't... How does this thing work? Are you alright? Really? I'm fine, I'm just having a... A wardrobe malfunction. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, I'm idiot. <laughs> hmm. What's with that look? I told you not to look at me. You men make me sick. By the way, where is the boy who took your sword? Oh, him? Uh... Ugh, even though I can do shape-shifting magic, I've always been bad at lying. Ha ha, you're bad at lying. Ha 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 ha. I chopped his hands off for stealing. Wow, you really know nothing about CL. What? Yeah, just like in the old days. <laughs> Why did I say that? I'm so nervous. <laughs> er, that's the first time I've ever t heard you tell a joke like that. At least, I hope you're joking. I really do. We all do. Are you feeling all right? Ah. I told you I'm fine. Yeah, they don't believe you. Florian? Have you sharpened your sword lately? Hmm. I have. I've been keeping some maintenance just in case there's something or someone that needs to be cut down. Eek! Ha <laughs> ha! What's up with these guys? They're kind of creepy. Was that some weird lingo again? <clears throat> no, they're serious. They go slice you to ribbons, bruh. <laughs> Something's definitely wrong. That question and answer is a secret code for suspecting danger. Lady Ciel is supposed to know the code too. In that case, it's time to smoke this imposter out. Well, it's good to hear you're safe, but don't run off like that again. Oh, sorry about that. I just want to, wanted to get my sword back no matter what. Uh, it means a lot to me after all. Right, I guess if it's it's fine if things worked out this time. Even so, as Florian said, please refrain from getting out of our sight next time. Your safety is our top priority, even if the stolen item was a memento of your deceased mother. What? It was that important? Dun -dun -dun -dun. I'm feeling kind of bad about this. Good feel bad. Oh yeah, sorry. It's fine, though, now, though. We'll just never let you out of our sight ever again. They will eternally stare at you. <laughs> Eek! No, I'll never be able to go back home. Please, Florian, there's no need to act like Lady Ciel's father. I'm not. I wouldn't go as far as to locking her up like he did. Locking her up? Just what is going on between these people? What? I'm especially scared of these two. Please. Have mercy. What are you talking about? Florian walks up to the imposter. And grabs the imposter by the collar. Maybe we will, we will if you stop pretending you're her. Now. Wow, I'm sorry, his name's Fakey. Ha ha ha. Kind of stupid name with a stupid job. It was just a job that I got. I'll tell you where the girl is. A wise choice. 
And remember, if it turns out that you are lying to us, they will kill you. Do you know what will happen to you? Death. I'm kidding. I don't want to know. Spare me. You had better start talking then. You wake up in the forest nearby a cave. Ugh. Huh? Why am I here? Let's see. I was talking to the kid who took my sword, and then... Dun dun dun! He turned into me! It's probably to deceive Florian and Anton. If they're too smart. His deceitfulness did not, uh, work out in his favor. Oh dear god. Well, I'm going to stop right here. <laughs> Bye, guys! Oh, hey, hey, whoa, hey. Okay, game, chill. Chill. Never mind, we'll keep going. Ignore what I said. What should I do now? I'm tied up. I didn't think any like anything like this would happen. I was careless. Sorry, Anton. Even though I know you know you worry about me, I I can't let myself down. I'll see him again and apologize for sure. I have to keep calm for now. It'll be okay. Who are the people who caught me, anyway, and why? <clears throat> and now I'm going to end it on a cliffhanger! Dun dun dun! Cliffhangers are a terrible thing to do, by the way, but I'm a jerk. <laughs> Not really, I just want to end it on a cliffhanger because I can. I do what I want. <laughs> anyway, love you guys. Stay quiet and have fun out there. <laughs>